what is going on gamers welcome back to another video in today's video I have a very cool idea we all know black ops 4 has a shit ton of perks and my big brain thought hey let's rank all the perks from worst to best so that is what we are gonna do today um, that being said got a little bit of criteria because you know you need this criteria in order to make your list valid now criteria is basically when a map first release and you're trying to do the easter egg for the first time because bo4 has a lot of hard easter eggs and i know a lot of people are trying to complete them so the criteria is trying to beat an easter egg for your first time how good these perks will be i found that is probably the most fair way to rank it let's quit talking and get right into this. <laughs> so there are 18 perks in this game, which is a lot. But um, as much as I love this perk, it objectively, if we're going by the criteria, it has to be here. Number 18 is Secret Sauce. Um, it's definitely one of the most fun things to run in the game. Um, this perk will basically just assign you a random perk. So, it's basically like going up to a Wonder Fizz and grabbing the first thing that pops up. It's basically what it is. And um, the modifier, um, your tonic slash Odin perk, it'll give you the modifier for that perk. That's self-explanatory. This perk overall is fun to use. It's probably one of my favorite things to run when I'm just playing by myself, just trying to have a good time. Because I like random. Random can make things better. Especially gets me to use perks that I wouldn't normally use as normally I just stick to like six or seven perks and not use the rest. So it is cool, it is a lot of fun. Although for the criteria in terms of being in the strike for the first time, it is not good whatsoever. But that being said, it belongs to number 18. Number one in my heart though. Let's move on. Alright, now getting on to the actual perks. Number 17, we got death perception. Um, basically, you can just see zombies through walls, and you will receive a little indicator on your screen uh, when there's one behind you. So, you have like a sixth sense, kind of, and you're able to just tell where zombies are. Um, it's not that good of a perk. The modifier does increased damage to, like, the special enemy weak points, which I already don't find the special enemies to be that much of a problem. Um, the only thing I can really see it being useful in terms of with the modifier is on Voyage of Despair with the Stokers. Um, in terms of doing Easter eggs though, this there's only been one step, and that's just been a nine, where you have to like shoot the zombies in a certain order, that this perk has really ever been somewhat used. Although I don't think it's good whatsoever, it's probably the worst perk in the game it will be a complete waste of a slot does not help with all that being said i'm done with this perk let's move on all right at number 16 we have the rocket shield wait wait got, got in my notes wrong um it's blaze phase put rocket shield in my notes but it's basically the same thing <laughs> um so yeah like i said basically if you took the rocket shield from bo3 and made it into a perk when you crouch and then uncrouch, you will dash through enemies in a blaze of fire. And the longer you stay crouched, the more zombie, or like the further you'll go. The modifier is just the distance is infinite at max charge, and you'll release a damage pulse that knocks down enemies. Um, this perk is about as useful as the rockets on the rocket shield. Cough, cough. Nobody ever used them, by the way. <laughs> um, this is an awful perk. It sounds like it could be really really good until you realize it has a fairly long recharge time and You have to like basically sprint away from the zombies as you have to crouch and Can't move that fast when you're crouched um, This perk it almost just seems like it was just thrown into the game just to say hey We added a lot of perks when not a lot of them are good <laughs> Not a great perk is better than death perception. It does have some use you know you could take out hordes and stuff like that but other than that it's kind of garbage all right now we have the perk that just pisses me off at number 15 which is bandolier bandit 
and why this pisses me off is because it's by no means a bad perk, but it's just unnecessary. I'm going to talk about more of this later in the video. This will not be the first time that I bring up Bandler Bandit because it could be made into Vulture Aid. And I'll go more into depth later about that. Um, basically, the ammo just increases your ammo stock and the modifier is just gaining ammo over time, which is not good at all. I don't think it works fast enough. It does not give that much ammo. The only gun that this really works well on is the Helion just give you more rockets which now that I mention it you know the healing is the gun you will be using the most but it's just not good I'll go more in depth on it later but that's just a quick little thing I gotta say about it that should just be vulture aid but no can't have that perk is not good on its own so yeah that's all I gotta say about this one I'll go more into depth later on it all right now coming into the number 14 spot we have stone cold stronghold um, this perk, when standing still, keep in mind you have to be not moving and standing still, will generate a circle in which you will be granted armor. While standing in the circle, it will also boost your damage, just by a little bit. Uh, the modifier doesn't really change anything. Um, this perk may sound nice, you know, as armor is very, very useful. But then, the catch. When you leave the circle, you immediately lose the armor and the damage. <laughs> this perk is really only good on uh, high round attempts because, you know, you're not really moving much because super sprinters are so fast. Um, I think in most of the maps, though, the reason why it's at number 14 is because there is always a step where you're, like, stuck in a room or, like, have to stand in a circle, so... It, it's a pretty common easter egg step, so that's why it's here and not like lower. Um, it's not really that great though for any other easter egg step. It's really only a high round perk. And now at number 13 we have Dead Shot Dealer. When you aim down sights, it'll immediately go to the zombie's head and just increase your accuracy. Um, it's not that good. I don't think it really works on PC because of obvious reasons. Um, however, it's this high because of the modifier, as when you go on a headshot streak, you will do more damage over time. So, gives you a nice little boost, although I don't really think it's worth a modifier slot for that. Um, but headshots are always nice to get. Um, unlike the rest of the perks that have been mentioned prior, I feel like it should have just increased headshot damage. In general like I don't know why the base version doesn't have increased headshot damage Th this could have been their chance to change deadshot for the better and they chose not to do anything which makes no sense to me but yeah I don't think this perk is entirely worthless because of the modifier but I would not run it as a modifier and then at number 12 we have Zom shell um, this is basically change choose from infinite warfare zombies Basically what happens is when you kill a zombie, they have a chance to explode, leaving a contamination field. That when zombies are in it, it will slow them down and make it so you deal more damage to the zombies in that field. However, the problem is the, the zone is super, super small. And I feel like that needs to be bigger. Um, the modifier is basically the green mist from Vulture Aid. So, going back to Bandler Bandit, this should have been a feature for Bandler Bandit. And for Zom Shell, I feel like this could have just been an alternate ammo type. You know? As it already basically does the exact same thing. You just move the contamination thing and just have it be green mist and move it to Bandit like Bandit. I don't know. That's what I would think. Because you get rid of a perk, made one more useful, and added another AAT. I don't know though. Overall. Not a terrible option, but could easily be better with some changes. Now with number 11, I have got a bone to pick with this perk. Number 11, we have a uh, Blood Wolf Bite. When you inflict a lot of damage at, all, at once, a wolf will spawn to fight with you. This is overall a mid perk. Now I do find Luna to be quite useful. Luna's the wolf. 
Um, but I'll get more to that in a second. Uh, the modifier, when Luna kills a zombie, they have a chance to drop a small out of, amount of ammo, points, or power. Now, here are some problems. Um, why is the modifier Bandler Bandit or Vulture Aid? Like, why could that have not gone to Bandler Bandit? That You combine that with Zom Shell and you have Vulture Aid. Come on. <laughs> they literally added Vulture Aid, but you had to get three separate perks. Uh, my other complaint with this is if you're doing an Easter Egg and trying to save a, the last zombie of the round to you know do the next step or to watch the waffles tutorial whatever uh you have to deal with luna ending the round which to me really hurts this perk uh, however luna stays in the game for a while before disappearing and does quite a lot of damage and will attack somewhat fast it's a mid perk though let's be honest it's not great why would you run this <laughs> but yeah no i think that they should get rid of the modifier and move it over to bandler bandit all right, at the number 10 spot, now we got Mule Kick. Um, this perk basically just allows you to carry through. We all know what it does. However, though, the modifier, when you down and lose Mule Kick, when you get back up and rebuy Mule Kick, you'll get that same gun you lost. It's a very, very simple perk. Um, kind of effective because, you know, guns are always nice to have a lot of, especially when... Sometimes you run out of ammo really fast, or maybe just a boss is a bolt sponge, or you just... Whatever. It's always nice to have a third gun. However, though, it is mid. Let's be honest. It's mid. And now coming in at our number 9 spot, um, we have Ethereal Razor. Now, your offhand melee swipes will do an increased damage and attack multiple zombies at once, and a lunge will do bonus damage and restore health, which is nice, because who doesn't like it when you're able to restore health, especially when you're really low, just going for a quick lunge, and you're good. Only problem with lunging is that you have to actually go into the zombie, you can't back away. Um, the modifier, your lunges will do infinite damage to a regular zombie. Overall, you know, it, it it's an okay perk. You know, extra damage, and it able to gain health while low on health. Um, it, it's really nice. The modifier sounds really cool until you realize it's only for one zombie at a time. Um, I feel like that the swipe should also do infinite damage. But I feel like that might be a little bit too overpowered. But overall, it's not a bad perk. I definitely don't really recommend it, but it's it's an okay perk to choose if you're needing one more. And coming into our next spot, we have Electric Burst. When you reload, you will shock any zombies that you are next to, and the more empty your magazine is, the more damage you will do. Electric Cherry or Electric Burst is always nice, especially when you're in a map with like tight spaces. So like Mob of the Dead, it was perfect. A map like Verrucked, something that's like tight spaces, not a lot of movement, it's really good. Uh, the modifier stores an electric charge, so when you knife zombies, it will stun them, which is really only useful in Alpha Omega High Round with the Ballistic Knife. Um, this perk is, like I said, is nice on tight maps. On a regular map, though, open map, there's not a lot of running room, or there's a lot of running room, and so therefore it makes the perk less useful because you won't be trapped all that much. Um, it's great for those maps, though, that are tight. It's definitely worth running. Uh, an open map, not so much, though. Other than that, it's a good perk, but it's kind of average. And at the number seven spot, we have got time slip uh time slip is the first perk that i would actually recommend if you're going to run it to use it as the modifier. the basic thing is you know pack punch and box guns appear faster equipment and traps have fast cooldowns and the modifier adds specialists and elixirs to that list so with the modifier you get to use your specialist more often important elixirs such as like anywhere but here uh temporal increase stuff like that you get to use more often which keeps you safe longer drops stuff like that overall it's an amazing perk i would definitely recommend using it just as a modifier though as the specialist is something that's going to be using a lot during the easter eggs you're going to be using elixirs a lot and yeah i recommend it it's going to help you out the most and just missing the top five we have phd slider now i had trouble where i wanted to put this 
um, because really nobody is using it for the sliding power, the explosion while sliding. You're using it for the, you know, explosive, explosive resistance. Because every Easter egg, you're running the helium salvo, which means you're going to be you're dealing with rocket launchers the whole time, which means this perk is going to be really, really damn useful. However, though, I would not even run this as a modifier because it's the modifier just does more like damage with like the sliding effect. You're strictly running this just for the helium. Admit it. It's actually a, a, a good perk for that. It's really the only time I would recommend using this perk if you are running the rocket launcher. If you have no intent on running the rocket launcher, probably not something you're going to need as I don't really know what else like is explosive in this game. So yeah. Simple perk. We, we all use it for one reason, and let's let's see what we got in the top five. All right, and before we get to the top five, hello everyone. First of all, thank you for watching. Um, like to please please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It shows to YouTube that hey, we like what this guy's doing. We're gonna show it to more people, and I need that. I need this to be shown to as many people as possible. Um, so if you could do that for me, also go to if you're ever feeling tired, right here, I got some dubby energy. Go get yourself some dubby energy if you're ever tired. Wakes you up so much. Gives me the motivation to do this video. And yeah, just use coupon code the living dead and hope you guys enjoy the top five. And cracking our top five spot, we have stamina up. Stamina numb and up. Um, it's always nice to run faster and longer, especially with all these BO4 maps, as they are absolutely massive. Like, so massive. It's so annoying. Because running from one side of the map to the other takes, like, forever. Um, the modifier lets you sprint forever, and you can fire your weapons while sprinting. I do like the fact that you can sprint forever. I don't think it's necessary as a modifier slot. I just like the ability to run fast. Sprinting forever, you know, you're going to walk every now and then as you're, like, training around. Maybe, you, like, turn around to fire the zombies. Sprinting forever is literally only for, like, going to the other side of the map and back. If you're on a smaller map, maybe, like, I don't know, 9 or Dead of the Night, it's not really that useful. But if you're playing a larger map, like Blood of the Dead, you're going to want this. <laughs> or else you'll be running forever. It's an amazing perk. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, mainly because I like to run faster. I like to get to my destination quicker. Great for outrunning some of these boss zombies and stuff like that. But that being said, it's number five. Should it be higher or lower? I'll let you guys decide. Now at number four, we have Quick Revive. Quick Revive is nice due to the fact that you get a shorter delay before regaining health. And the rate that you regain health, health is increased. You also get the co-op ability of reviving players faster. Always nice to revive people faster, especially if you got a large horde behind you. Um, the shorter delay, always nice. You know, getting health quicker is huge because you get attacked so fast in Black Ops 4. Um, the modifiers, you gain a sprint speed boost after like health regen starts. And for the co-op people, it grants both players full health and a sprint speed boost when you revive someone. Uh, this perk is amazing to run as being able to heal quicker is so crucial in a game like this. It's cheap as well. It's one of the cheaper perks, so it's really nice to run. You'll be able to get it quick. And yeah, it's our number four. Let's go. All right, we are now at the top three. And the bronze medal will go to Victorious Tortoise. This perk is awesome as every map has a shield. And... Whenever you are like holding the shield out, you will not take any damage even from behind you. It literally grants you shield protection from anywhere and you will not take damage. Which is nice because you're able to regain health if you are low. You're able to focus on doing like hitting something if you're doing an easter egg step. And when it breaks, it'll trigger an explosion, knocking the zombies back and killing them. Giving you more time to, or space to like run and go grab another shield. Uh, the modifier will do more damage with shield bash attacks and can knock down heavy and mini boss zombies. Perk is overall just really nice due to the fact that it gives you protection from literally everywhere. 
which is why I think it's I think it's one of the most slept on perks because it's just that damn good. I really recommend this. It's great in modifier. It's great as just itself. It's great, especially on nine when you have that one step where you're stuck in the room with the shield. You literally cannot die. For that reason, it's the number three perk and it is awesome. And yeah. All right, we got the final two left. And our silver medal is going to Dying Wish. Instead of going down, you will go berserk for nine seconds. And while you're berserk, you will not die. It is literally an extra revive. And after that, you'll be left with one HP. And the modifier is after you berserk, you'll be at full health. Uh, it's not really worth running as a modifier slot, which hurts this perk. Not what and why it's not number one. And also, it has a really, really long cooldown to be activated again, which I think is fair. Would not be fun if it just worked after like a round or two. It takes probably like a while. I don't know how long it takes exactly, but it takes a while. Which is why it's, um, it's at number two. It's amazing though, because when it does regen, it does the exact same thing. So really, in a game, you'll be getting multiple quick revives. Like, back and it's really, really helpful, especially when you're trying to do an Easter egg, especially some of these maps are such high rounds that you need more health, and this will especially help you. It's so, so good. And if you're not running it, I think you're gonna kind of crazy because it's a necessity in this game. And what that means is our number one spot is going to Winter's Whale. If you guessed that correctly down in the comments, let me know. Um, getting hit while not at full health will trigger a widow's wine effect where you get hit and like this explosion this ice explosion will go out and freeze all nearby zombies um you'll get three charges with a modifier um you'll get like this field around you for a limited time where you move and it'll freeze any zombies around you that you move to while it's active and you'll get a fourth charge now i think this is the best perk Mainly because that modifier, you know, it'll you keep moving and it'll still continue to work. So it's really good when you're low on health. Um, you, it regens, so you can use it multiple times around. It's so so good. If you played Black Ops Three, you know Widow's Wine was good. This is literally Widow's Wine in Bo4. It's such a good perk, especially when you combine it with like all these other perks I've been talking about that keep you safe. Like, you cannot die when you have charges. It's so, so good. It's easily the best perk in the game. And with that being said, that is all 18 perks. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Let me know if you want to see more com or stuff like this. Um, whether it be ranking every perk from a different game or just any ranking. Whatever you want to see, let me know and I will definitely see if I can do anything with it. I had a lot of fun making this. It took a while, but I had a lot of fun doing it. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful rest of your day.